Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Mind Over Matter with Sankit. In this episode, we'll be talking about the surprising benefits of making your bed every day. So before we begin with the video, a question for you all. How many of you make your own bed every day? And what is your reason behind doing that? Now you might think that making one's bed does not really need any reason, but turns out that there is this deep psychological reason that we make our bed every day. And I also know friends who leave their bed as it is throughout the day, use it at night and leave it the same way throughout the day. But then this can actually hamper one's productivity and one's happiness. Now let us discover why. Making our bed first thing in the morning does several things to our brain, which activates the reward system of our brain. So when we make the bed immediately after waking up, first of all, we get rid of this tendency to go to sleep again. This is especially applicable during winters because currently is also the time of winter and I also have trouble waking up early. However, this is the trick that I use in order to jump out of the bed immediately. So what I do is I wake up and I make my bed immediately. Now, making the bed, first of all, gives a sense of satisfaction and gives a sense of control over your day because you feel like you've already accomplished something by making your bed. In addition, you also feel like you've overcome your laziness, so you feel proud of yourself and, and this feeling also gives a reward to your brain. On the other hand, if you leave your blanket as it is through the night and throughout the day, you'll feel the tendency to go and sleep and take frequent naps throughout the day. Or you might feel very lazy because it's not really obvious when you look at it, but there's a deep underlying psychology in here. Say that you're working on your table and you see that your bed is just as it is from the night. Now, even if you say that it doesn't really affect me, that's the way I've been doing it forever. Try, try making your bed immediately in the morning because it really does have a reason. Even if your conscious mind might say that it's okay, that making your bed is not necessary, your subconscious mind will constantly saying that there is some task that is yet to be done. It feels sort of incomplete. Now, many people who have OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder or they do not even have to have that because there are many people who are very meticulous about how they arrange their rooms. So, so for these people, they, it is very necessary that they have everything in its place. So they make sure that they make their bed. However, the other people are somewhat carefree and, and they do not really care about what their surrounding is like. They believe that they can thrive no matter what surrounding they are in. However, our subconscious mind is not within the reach of our conscious mind. So it is highly recommended that you try this out. If you have the habit of working or studying in your bed, it's not really recommended unless you're reading at bedtime to relax and so that it's easier to fall asleep. So that's the only exception. So that time when you read book at night is only exceptional. But other than that, if you want to do something productive, if you want to learn something or if you want to get some work done, it is recommended that you don't do it on your bed. Now, now although you might say to yourself that you are able to work in all sorts of environment, if you work in your bed, you're a lot less productive than if you work at a particular designated place. When you're working at your bed, it's very easy for you to slack and it's very easy for you to just let go of your work and sleep for some time and that really disrupts the flow of the day. If you, if you make the habit of respecting your bed as a place to sleep, respecting it as a place where you perform a ritual that is sleeping. If you start taking sleeping as a ritual, you will also gain benefits from it because the you will associate it with a sense of rest. When you associate a certain place with a certain task, the energy and the vibrations in that area correspond to that. Now, this also relates to another thing which is digital minimalism. This is what's going on throughout the world right now, the concept of minimalism. And this also applies to your digital world. So what it means is that if you really want to be productive, you need to block out times where you are not disturbed by your mobile phone. 
For instance, immediately after waking up, many of us have the habit of checking our phone. However, if you practice touching your phone only after a certain time, say for instance, I will be practicing to open it only at around 11 a.m. from now. I'm also still working on it. It's also for me also it's a work in progress right now. I'm trying to fight my own temptations, but then uh, I've been pretty successful at only opening my cell phone at around 11 a.m. Similarly, at night, I block some time wherein I'm away from my mobile. I, I keep my cell phone in the airplane mode and I make sure that I'm not feeding myself with input from everywhere because it's very easy for us to open our cell phone and consume a lot of information when we're about to sleep because we're not sleepy yet. But instead of doing that, you can, you can actually practice a simple meditation technique when you fall when you're trying to fall asleep 